Hello, Simon Cat. Wouldn't it be great if there was a game out there called Pets Cats 2? <laughs> Pets Cats 2 released on the Wii and PS2 in 2007. There's also a dog's version, but I'll be playing the cat's version because it's kind of part of my name. There's a story behind how I got that name, but that's for another time. In Japan, this game is known as The Kitten and the Magic Hat, but for some reason it was rebranded as part of the pet series everywhere else, despite having nothing to do with the pet series. This could explain why the game is advertised as a pet simulator on the back of the box, but in reality, it's an action-adventure game. With action, adventure, and game all in quotations. More on that later. Well, right away we get to choose from 40 different breeds of cats to be our protagonist. Hmm, I wonder which one I'm going to choose. You can even wear a green beanie in this game, what? Pets Cats 2 opens with an explanation of the magic cat, which is the cliched, important, powerful object of this game. Then you go to the beach with your friend Victor, where the tutorial takes place. Then Victor takes you to the prison to meet a criminal named Ivlet. Or Ivlet? Or maybe it's Livlet. Because of the terrible font, I really can't tell. Ivlet asks the other cats to bring him the magic hat, and because these cats have approximately three brain cells, they actually give it to him. Then Ivlet wrecks the village, and it's your responsibility to rebuild it and get the magic hat back. Well, after Victor decides to take your place in prison. Then this tiny guy named Beat shows up, saying he's the embodiment of the good half of the magic hat. He's the companion character in this game, and he's so forgettable that I didn't even remember he existed. As much as I want to, I'm not going to criticize the story for having a moral, but I will criticize the execution of the moral. In Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, when Grotus steals the crystal stars and uses them to revive the Shadow Queen, it's not only Mario's fault, it's your fault as well, because you gathered the crystal stars. But here, it's not your fault the village got wrecked, because it was just a cutscene where the stupid cat gave Ivlet the magic hat. And the worst part is the rest of the game is made up of mindless fetch quests, where you run back and forth across the world over and over again. And you know what makes backtracking worse? Terrible controls. You move by pointing the Wiimote at the screen. Your cat will follow the pointer. This control scheme makes no sense. It's extremely imprecise and was likely thrown in just because the Wii has motion controls. It's also very easy to get stuck on ledges. Ledges that you can't even fall off, by the way. This game is also on PS2, so they had no excuse not to at least give you the option to use a more conventional control scheme. Strangely enough, the music is easily the best part of the game. There are some truly amazing songs in this game. Pawville, Jade Fields, and the credits theme are all definitely worth a listen. The most interesting gameplay mechanic in Pets Cats 2 is digging to find buried items. Holding down A will bring up an arrow pointing you to the item. It's genuinely not a terrible idea, but as always when it comes to this game, with good ideas comes terrible execution. You move painfully slow when searching for an item, and digging is mapped to a flick of the Wiimote, which is either extremely unresponsive or hyper-responsive. You can also catch fish and bugs in this game, again with terrible motion controls. No, Pets Cats 2, you're not Animal Crossing and you never will be. There are actually enemies in this game, which is why you have health that upgrades automatically as you play the game. You can meow or later on throw rocks at enemies to temporarily stun them, and that's it. The combat feels like such an afterthought in this game. Pets Cats 2 is backtracking the game. This cat in the village tells you to talk to this cat in another part of the village who tells you to talk to this cat on the beach who tells you to talk to this cat in the lake. The entire game is like this. Talk to someone, find the quest item, talk to a few more cats, and repeat for 7 hours. Yeah, this game thankfully isn't very long. Normally backtracking this tedious would be reserved for side quests or other optional content. In Pets Cats 2, everything that feels like a side quest is actually a mandatory part of the game. The second half of the game is slightly better than the first half, mainly because it's a little more open-ended. And two specific areas in the game make you manage your temperature by finding spots where you can cool off and warm up. It's a pretty cool mechanic, I just wish more of the game was like this and not about doing chores for the lazy townsfolk. The final boss starts with a fight against a dragon. Ah yes, typical pet simulator stuff. All you have to do is throw rocks at it. Then you have to battle Ivlet himself, and this time you throw rocks at him, and then you meow at him. It's pathetically easy though, because you can just pick up another rock and combo him once he gets up. After defeating Ivlet, Beat says he needs to return to the magic hat to prevent it from being used for evil again. Because every game needs to have the companion character leave at the end for dramatic effect. It would actually be a good scene if I cared at all. Beat doesn't even have a personality, and neither does any single character in this game. I didn't mention this in my sticker star review, but Kirsty dying at the end of the game would have been a more impactful moment if she was an actual character. After returning home and becoming the new owner of the Magic Cat, Pets Cats 2 finally ends. And Victor is still in jail. Pets Cats 2 is a weird game. It's hilarious that something like this even exists, but it's also not that surprising. 
it did get a little better towards the end there, but overall, it's still an awful experience through and through. Now, this game isn't quite as bad as Sticker Star, so it deserves different treatment. 